Well, hello there. How is everyone? I hope you're all well on this marvellous, marvellous Monday. It's marvellous. You're marvellous. You're looking marvellous. You're looking wonderful. And we're going to get straight into the meat and potatoes. This is going to be a rant. It might be one of three. It might be two or three. It might be three of three. I have no idea. All I know is there is three videos today. So keep your eyes peeled. I must apologise for the failed live yesterday for those who tried to jump on. Uh, having a nightmare. Having an absolute feckin' nightmare, and yeah, don't want to talk about it. Don't want to talk about it, because it means talking about British weather, and British weather is not a patch on the US weather. But it would appear that even if you get a slight breeze, like, everything fucking grinds to a hill. Stop. <laughs> but there we go. Anyway, rant time. I, I spoke earlier, very briefly, and I spoke yesterday about ben mogan doing a gofundme as he wants to do what the gown salvers family are doing that is attend the trial i know that at some point he did speak to news outlets and said that he wanted to only or he was only going to attend a certain proportion of it the victim statement proportion i believe that's what it was and look it would appear that i don't think that this is a wealthy guy i don't think that he's got money um and that could have been just down to affordability, the the ability to, to maybe he just couldn't. But he's seen the Gonsalves family start a GoFundMe, and he thought, look, if I, maybe I can do it, maybe I can earn some money, and maybe I can go because I'd like to go because Madison, believe it or not, is, is his daughter. But so then someone emailed me yesterday and they they raised a concern and I immediately got fucking pissed right off, as you can imagine. Because what this email was suggesting was that the Gonsalves family were actively removing posts that were put on their Facebook page that was seemingly promoting Maddie's dad's GoFundMe. Obviously, I get on there and I start typing away, don't I? Bosh, 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 bosh. And I, um, I go on there and I, and I look and I see that there is people and they're saying, why are you removing posts? Why are posts being removed that are uploading the GoFundMe for, for Maddie's dad? And I see that they've liked some other comments where people said, I've donated to you, Gonzalo's family. We love you. And they've loved them. And, you know, and then the other people have said, have you thought about, helping you know this other gofundme maddie's dad's gofundme they're ignored ignored obviously it's very hard like what i am going to say is i can't 100 percent be absolutely certain that posts are being removed but it would certainly seem that there's a lot of people who are seemingly suggesting that that's happening and all i will say is look if that is happening if that genuinely is happening I have to question why. Because the Gonsalves family have adopted, they have adopted Madison. They have adopted Madison. Look, we've got two, we've got children. And they have friends. They have best friends. I haven't adopted them. I don't I wouldn't class them as my child. And I know this is a very unique situation, but equally I I I kind of take offense. I don't know whether that's just me. I, do, I kind of take offence that Madison does have a dad. Very much so. And Steve Gonzalez is almost making it look like Madison is his daughter. And look, he may feel very close towards Madison because her and, and Kaylee were very, very close. They were best friends, you know, best buds. But there is a, there is a line. And it's almost like this has become... The crime has been detached where it was Kaylee and Madison, and then you had Zana and Ethan, who don't really ever get mentioned. Don't ever get mentioned. But it was them two, and the Gonsalves have been an advocate for justice for them, specifically. Not completely excluding the other two, but let's face it, and anyone who's been following it, I'm sure you can agree, even if you don't fucking like me. You can agree that it seems that they have really, really been pushing the advocacy for the the justice for the girls in terms of, you know, Kaylee and Maddie. And yeah, they at the end of the day, they, they seemingly died together. But again, Maddie is someone else's daughter. 
And when you've when you had GoFundMe's, because we had apparently there was one set up for the Range Rover, a vote that belonged to Kaylee. I can't one hundred percent confirm that one exists, but. There's a lot of people who feel there was one, but I can't sit here and say I know that that existed. There was another GoFundMe that we've shown previously that was set up as a joint one for Maddie and Kaylee, both together, that got around $72,000 there. So I don't know how much of that that Maddie's dad actually got. I don't, I don't know if he got a proportion of it or what. If he did, what happened to it? I don't, I don't know. I'm not here to scrutinise that one. But then we have the Gonzalo set another one up. And, you know, that's now gone over 60,000. Where the last time I looked at Ben's yesterday, that was on 3,500. And I know some of you kind members of this community have headed on over there and, and done some donating over there. So I thank you. You are fucking amazing. But, yeah, I just felt... <laughs> I just thought to myself, why, when you have utilised Maddie to facilitate your, I suppose, to try and make people really feel your pain. I see so many comments around this family that that it's like they've accepted that the Gonsalves family lost Kaylee and Maddie. And, and it's almost like, oh, you guys received a double loss. Not only did you leave, lose Kaylee, but you lost Maddie as well. No, her dad lost Maddie. Her dad. And then if this is actually accurate, that the Gonzales family truly are blocking comments that would seemingly be suggesting, look, have you thought about helping Ben? Look, like I say, maybe they have. Maybe they've done something in the background that I haven't seen, no one's seen. And, you know, if that's the case, then fuck me. I'll hold my hands up and I'll say, sorry, mate. Sorry. Sorry. But that doesn't look like it. And it, and the comments and everything. Look, we're, we're not privy to everything. I get that. I do get it. But I have to address this. Because if this genuinely is happening, then it raises another question. I don't want to keep hating on this family. I don't want to. And look, we could just ignore everything. Fuck it. Ignore it. It's none of our business. Let's just shut the fuck up. But this is re- this is real life. And, and we've all invested time and energy and effort into following what is actually going on around this. And I think that there is so many of us that are truly following what happens. And we do get invested. It's like even if you watch a show. Do you know what I mean? If you watch a show, like we're currently watching Grey's Anatomy. And you get invested in the characters. You feel for them. When they get a loss, you, you feel it. And even though that's it's not real, but you feel it. But this is the these people are real. And the, the 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 hunt for justice is real. And I want to see this all the way through. So I feel connected to the entire story. I feel that I am part of this story in that, you know, we're looking at it every day and seeing what happens and what isn't happening and what's going on, what's being said, what's not being said. And this element to it, this this Gonsalves situation where they've pushed themselves at the forefront of everything. And as like I said the other day, it's almost like it's a fucking celebrity death match between Steve Gonsalves and Brian Koberger at the moment. That just seems like it's Gonsalves versus Koberger. Uh, you know, if the trial had a billboard, that's what it would be. It'd have fucking blue corner, fucking Brian Koberger, red corner, Steve Gonsalves. But it's, it's, it shouldn't be like that. But when I saw this, I just it fucking triggered me because I thought they've Maddie, 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 Kaylee, Maddie, Kaylee, Kaylee, Maddie, Maddie, Kaylee. And it, and now, when they truly could do something to actually get right behind Maddie, do something, and get behind her dad and help him push forward. Let's fucking help him. Let's bring him in. It just seems that they're doing completely fucking opposite. So what is it? Are they that disingenuous? Do they? What is this? Is this truly just about them now, and they don't care? What do you think? Let me know down below. And I'll see you all in the next one.